to all who are blessed by a Mighty Wit ministry. The following video intro will at this time be put before every prophecy video so that when you see this man's face next to Apostle Prophet Elisheva Eliyahus, you will know the reason why. It doesn't mean he has returned. It doesn't mean that he is associated with this ministry of a mighty wind in any way at this time. There's one reason only, and it's so the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh is not touched, that was once on this man, that was once on the both of them together when the two anointings were still one, that helped bring that particular prophecy forth. I want you to know, my beloved brothers in Yahushua all over the world, especially, that Elisheva Eliyahu no longer has an anointed male co-leader by her side or anointed prayer covering of protection from a holy husband. The man that was meant and called forth to do this refuses to do so. This is why I call upon all of you, anointed holy men, Goliath slayers all over the world, to rise up, to come forth, and to cover Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu this ministry and the workers of this ministry in prayer even more so than ever before in protective prayers against all the reprobate enemies especially for they are many but we have the victory in the name and through the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach of Calvary this video intro that you're about to see will even be put before prophecy videos where Ezra Caleb was not there or was not shown it is so that once you see another prophecy video later where he is included, you will know the story. In this prophecy video, you will see Ezra Caleb next to Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu for one reason only. And that is so we do not touch the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh that was once on this man and between the both of them that brought this prophecy forth. Taking him out is like touching the anointing, and so we can't do it. At the time that he was still obeying Yahushua HaMashiach, the true Savior, the son of Yahweh God, and humbly walking next to his wife, Elisheva Eliyahu, as a male co-leader of a mighty wit ministry. But that was a then, and this is a now. And so I inform all of you that at this present time, and we're right now in September, uh, coming into October of 2019, Ezra Caleb is no longer that male co-leader, neither associated with his ministry of a mighty wind in any way, as he chose a path of willful sin, rebellion, occultism, idolatry, self-exaltation, need I go on. This man started to commit crimes against the heavenly holy trinity and against this ministry and the people who consider this ministry to be a blessing. And as a matter of fact, anyone who loves Yahushua and has accepted him as their Lord God and Savior. If you want to know what can happen to you if you are in willful sin and rebellion against Yahweh, you do not have to look any further than this man and what happened to him and to his mind. Because the insanity has gone as far as thinking that he is a god. And I leave it at that. Can you imagine that? Thinking that you are God Almighty in the flesh? But this was not so at the time that this prophecy came forth. When he obeyed Yahweh God, and the two anointings became one, him and Apostle Elisheva Eliyahu, it truly was a wonderful thing. How much they accomplished together for the kingdom of heaven, leading souls to Yahushua all over the world, especially in 2016 and 17. Things were wonderful. But in 2018, things went bad very quickly, as he surrounded himself with a reprobate soul gathering. False visionaries, false prophets from the pit of hell, to soothe his itching ears, seducing him, influencing him, flattering and turning him into this golden calf that ought to be worshipped. And guess what? He fell for it. They turned him against his own wife, Elisheva Eliyahu, a true prophet who would never fill his head with such nonsense, who will only tell him what the Lord God Almighty Yahweh, 
Yahushua Ruach HaMashiach and the precious Ruach HaKodesh Holy Spirit have to say. But he didn't want to hear it anymore. He turned on Elisha Veliyahu and on anyone who would not fall down in total loyalty at his feet. He allowed himself to be brainwashed so badly that he demanded to be the head of this ministry, which to him means an iron fist dictatorship where he sets out the rules and no longer the heavenly trinity, where Elisheva has totally no say, where he is the only leader and would call the shots. He would have turned this ministry into an orthodox Jewish, Kabbalistic, old blood covenant ministry until Yahweh God stopped it and kicked him out. There is no male co-leader by Elisha Veliyahu's side at this time. And until that new anointed man comes forth to replace Ezra, you will only see Yahushua HaMashiach himself next to Elisha Veliyahu in this image. For truly he is the one that covers and protects and holds her. He is her Savior and Lord God Almighty, is Yahushua HaMashiach. You also still see her hold up this necklace that this former male co-leader gave her at a time that he truly loved her, and in fact, more importantly, when he truly loved Yahushua. For how can he love a holy virtuous woman unless he truly loves Yahushua himself? This necklace also represents a symbol of the Holy Heavenly Trinity to Elisheva, who are the true head of this ministry. You will not see any other man next to Elisheva in this image until that new anointed male co-leader appointed by Yahushua himself will come forth. That new man will cover her and protect her in prayer the way that Ezra was meant to do. This man will always stress the importance of the new blood covenant and will not go back to the old. But he will stress that only Yahushua HaMashiach, the son of Yahweh, is the true Savior and Redeemer and the Lord God Almighty. Ezra Caleb, sad to say, went back to the old blood covenant, committing a crime against Yahushua and against all the people that Yahushua gave his life for at the cross of Calvary. Ezra Caleb was warned Yahweh would not wait any longer for him to come back. Elisha of Eliyahu has got so many prophecies stored up, even for Israel, the Hebrew-speaking people, and they will be released. Please do pray with your whole heart that the man once called Ezra Caleb will come back to the saving grace of Yahushua HaMashiach and to the new blood covenant, that his soul will be spared and saved, that he will come out of agreement with Satan and with the reprobate soul gathering that turned his heart cold against his own wife and against the heavenly holy trinity. But like I said, taking him out of this prophecy at a time when he was walking holy and in obedience to Yahushua, where their anointings were one and brought it forth, would be like touching the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We're not going to do it. This is the only reason why he's left in this video. Now please watch this prophecy, be blessed, encouraged, edified, taught, and where needed, convicted to turn away from your sins and turn towards Yahushua as your Savior. As all these prophecies do is lead you further into a deeper, loving, obedient, repentant relationship with your Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, with the Heavenly Trinity, and to love them, the Lord God Almighty, who are truly one, the three in one, with your heart, with your soul, with all of your strength, and with all of your mind. Walk, walk with you, take you back from the end. Let me share, let me share, let me share.